Alright, hey guys, this is Ready Up Go, and welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants the Movie, the game part number 8 in the last part. We did the, uh, we did no weenie parking any t we did, we did a lot of stuff, basically. We finished up Bubble Blowing Baby Hunt, and what is that challenge? Whatever. We finished up Bubble Blowing Baby Hunt, did no weenie parking any time, and I'll let you pet Mr. Whiskers. And now we're going to do Rock Slide, which, oh crap, almost fell off at the freaking beginning. Alright, so this is Rock Slide. Um, the other sliding level. I mean, what else would you like me to say about it? There's nothing special about this level whatsoever other than you're sliding yet. So, yay for that. There, I guess there's the gimmick of these spike platforms, which part of them is spikes and part of them is safe. Right on. I, it's not even really a gimmick, it's because it's not, the entire level isn't focused on it. They're just kind of there. Monster! Oh, yes. The level after this is one of the suckiest levels. I hate that level very much, but it is not very fun at all. And there's a trampoline over there, and I have no idea why that was there, but okay. Because I know it, I think it might be at this point. No, it's later. Um, there's a trampoline that leads to a secret area. Alright, now this is the creepiest part of the level. You enter a f Oh, you just enter this fish that's, like, inside of the wall here. Which... Uh, excuse me, um... Dear Nickelodeon, WTF. This is this looks like something Japan would do. And I don't even think this game was made by Japanese people. I'm pretty sure Nickelodeon's American based. So that is really weird why they, I, I have no idea why they decided that you should be inside of this fish, but it's really freaking nasty and creepy. And screw you guys, I'm jumping over here. <laughs> you can basically skip the two shooters there by uh, shortcutting over here. Actually, I think this might be a secret area. Nope, just a shortcut. No big deal. Or back... that was backtracking. Indeed it was. I need to stop trying to take shortcuts in these levels. However, we don't have to deal with the shooters anymore. Which, it really wasn't a big uh, deal in the first place. And then there's those nasty, like, hair things inside the fish. Seriously, this place is nasty. And then, like, everything is, like, stomach acid colored. Even though, I'm, in my experience, stomach acid is orange. Oh my gosh, you're serious? So we somehow lost momentum there, and ended up failing because of it, and apparently we need a lot more momentum to be able to do what I was trying to do. There's a secret area down here that you can get to if you're moving fast enough. Or in other words, you don't fail at this level, and you don't manage to die, because now we don't have enough momentum to get down there. Normally you'd be able to get down there, but now we're not. Well, we can still go basically down where it be. It's basically down here. And then, um, this leads right to the exit, so. Um, pretty easy. I think this is the part with the uh, secret trampoline thing. Yep, right over here. Yeah. And then this leads us to a secret area, which makes us completely skip that tent weight, which I wanted. But it brings us up here, which is an area you can only get to by trampolining like that, and fall. I guess you can shortcut to over right there, you can see it. But there is a secret if you stick it through, so secret. Alright, now, branching path, it doesn't matter which path you take, I don't think. Everything leads to the end. It doesn't matter what path you take whatsoever. So, jump down here, give me a, give me a cheese because I can't have cheeseburgers. Just because cheeseburgers are health, I've decided to, you know, make that a running thing in this LP. Which is just great. Alright. In the fish, again, which is really creepy. Like, it's nasty. Like, why would they make you inside of a fish? That is gross. Especially with the freaking hair thing. Like, you can see them. That, because it's on the wall. It is absolutely disgusting. Like, that creeped me out so much when I was playing this as a little kid. I have trouble saying when goodbye. I didn't, you know, completely understand the logic of it's a game. 
I actually used to think, I remember when I was really little, like three or four, I thought the cartoons were real, and I explained this in my link in the past, though, but for new subscribers that might be watching this for the first time, hopefully by the time this episode is uploaded, I'll have at least one new subscriber. And then I'll have 14 subscribers. Yay. At least at the, at the time I'm recording this, I have 13 subscribers. Anyways, as I was saying, or at least I'm trying to say, I remember I used to think cartoons were real, and that if I used a sword to break the TV, nothing else to break the TV. If I used a sword to break the TV screen, that I would be transported to that world with my sword, and I would just be like, yeah. And ever since then, I actually collected, as when I was little, I collected, I, I, I collected like tree branches, and I called them sword, and I swung them around like swords, because I was super into swords, because I was like, I was in love with Link to the Past, and I played that game, and I wanted to be in the game so badly, and so I pretended sticks were swords. That was, that was the, you know, generation of being young and carefree. Now I, I now I actually have to care about school. Which, oh, that was fake and gay. That was incredibly stupid. Where am I now? I have absolutely no idea where I am in the level. Looks like I'm fairly far back, which sucks. I can't believe I died, that's bad. Alright, let's go to the down path this time, because the up path apparently leads to death, and this path apparently also leads to death. And, uh, death is no fun. It's, uh, very unpleasant. And I can't believe I died again! I'm dying on a slide level because of environmentals. That is... That's stupid. That's what that is. Looks like I need to stop hitting Know, the steam there because they're the ones causing the most problems now. So many choices, yes. So, uh, so many choices, there's two choices. What else could you possibly choose? Screw it, down path. Haha. -ha. Oh god. Well, looks like I'm down here now. And going upwards on a place where I should be going down. Let's not do shortcuts anymore. <laughs> How about that? Because that time I died for a legit reason. I was exploring. And I should try doing that same exact thing again. Because I'm crazy. I have a mental disorder, and that is the exploring disorder. So I must explore. And that is what I would go do. Oh, don't hit the barrels. Haha. Alright, where was it that I jumped to? It should be somewhere around here, maybe? I. Yeah, no, no, stop that, stop that. Oh, my god, where am I? Make it, make it, yay. Oh, hey, I'm here now. Well, look at that, that shortcut didn't prove out, didn't, it proved to uh, be worthwhile. Why not? And then in these fishes, you're, the track that you're riding on is like their tongue, which is nasty. It's just grody. No, it's simple enough. Alright, we're finally at the finish. I think for this level, just like for, uh, no weedy parking. I don't really want to do the bonuses. I might do them in this video. Maybe. I'll see how much time it took me to actually just do the level. Because I know the Macho Time Challenge is like five freaking minutes. Holy cow! You actually did it? Of course we did! Women! Uh -huh. Yeah, right. Here's our reward. Alright, well that was easy enough. Yeah, I don't feel like doing bonuses in this video, even though we're only like nine minutes. Um, so here's the next walking level. This is now that we're men. This is the last part I'm going to record. I recorded these first eight parts all in a row, and without any breaks in between, other than I got up and I got up to go this piss. Place is full of so I'm going to stop recording now. Awesome. All right, now, you once have you have, I think, tokens to earn your 20 next tokens, she gives you a new move called the Spongebob. Which SpongeBob rolls a bowling ball? Oh, I forgot my spoon. <laughs> because he he's using a bowl. Ha <laughs> ha. No, That's a pun. SpongeBob. All right. It's really useful on things you don't want to get too close to. All right, that that's that's fascinating. I'm just skipping through all that. All right, so 
This is Ready Up Go. I'll see you guys in part number nine of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants the movie the game. All right. So yeah, later, folks. Um, I'll see you in the next recording session. All right, later.